Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. Hello friends, you are on Melon Funk channel. In this video I will tell you about the continuation of the story in Melon Playground. But before I start the video, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys for being in my video. If you want to be in my next video, you need to do a few things. 1. You need to subscribe to my channel. 2. You need to like it. 3. Write your top comment of 4 words or more, and don't forget to watch this video from beginning to end. It's very simple to fulfill all these conditions and have fun watching. So friends, for 3 years Melon Playground developers prepared for us a continuation of the story, and the plot for me turned out to be a surprise, it was very interesting. First of all, in the update 25.0 was a huge number of Easter hints and references to the story, but on the official YouTube channel, developers have prepared a whole movie that reveals the whole story in Melon Playground, and it's very interesting. So all eyes on the screen. I will comment every scene of this cartoon because there is something to reveal. The first shot we see some silhouettes enter the lab that we saw in the Pashhawk official in update 23.0. We see a flask of melon, as well as other empty rooms of some kind, and a gray, dingy room. These silhouettes appear to be some special forces of the services, or some possibly scientists, or just scientists' assistants, for the transportation of that very flask. And we can see that these very same special services are about to be taken somewhere to the flask itself. This was some kind of experimental experience, and essentially this experience is going to be taken away from this room. In the next maps, we see those very scientists, and we also see this flask being loaded into a car. I wonder where the next scene will take this flask. The secret service that is in charge of transporting these very flasks is called Van Korn. Sounds ominous enough. Here we see an obvious reference to a character from Melon Playground called Korn, and it is not clear what this reference is to. Perhaps it is just a reference to the name of the character and there is no Pascalka here, although it is very interesting. In the next shots, we see a very interesting road sign, on which we see that we go to the field for testing at number 27. Apparently, Colby's Melanoff wants to start testing differently and may just want to immerse him in some other environment. The shot then locks onto some sort of manhole, and here we already see a transition to another scene. The next scene starts with some blogger greeting us, and her name is May. By the way, May is probably the most important administrator of the Discord channel right now, and probably the closest person to Sliz. Her character is Dragonfruit, which is very interesting. I think the reference is obvious here. Basically, Dragonfruit is the most popular NPC right now, who never made it into the Melon Playground, but there were just huge rumors about him. Anyway, the character looks a lot like him. And she says that she is with a very good friend, his name is Bolo, and he is an idiot. This scene is pretty funny, and it's basically a comedy scene, and she asks him to stop staring for some reason. It's pretty funny, maybe he was staring at her heel, but that's just my guess, and I could be wrong, of course. Next, she talks about how Lammy and his boys are up to some kind of robbery. The characters we see in this shot appear to be Lyman. Perhaps the developers are hinting that in the future there will be a new NPC, and it will be called Lyman, but I personally thought so. And from the looks of it, these characters will be antagonists, they will be evil, and they want to start some robbery. It's not clear yet what kind of robbery, but we'll find out soon. And in the next shot, we find out that there's a Mel's Bank opening today. I think, obviously, this is probably a reference to the war shop, and this is a reference to the fact that the developers are now giving out 700 melon coins for a subscription, and you have the opportunity to buy this subscription. And these guys, led by the same yeah, Lamy, want no, to rob it. it and myself. of course, a blogger named May wants to get involved and capture footage of the robbery. Next, May and his buddy just snuck a sewer line to get under the bank itself, and they want to film live as Lamy and his buddies rob the very same bank. They say that the developers made a hole under the bank, and in fact, they were supposed to concrete it. But that's just on paper, but in fact, they failed to do that and the developers just filled in the hole, and in fact, they want to sneak into the hole to film the robbery live on camera. But then, something goes wrong. 
and apparently Bolo, May's inconsiderate friend, makes a mistake somewhere and climbs out the wrong hatch. And that's basically the key shot. Discussing the whole heist, we realize that Lammy and his gang are going to enter the bank through the front door and basically want to do everything old school, as tough and brutal as possible, hopefully they won't succeed. And in general, Lammy and his gang break into this bank, they do everything brutally, music is loud, guns in all directions and hard explosions begin, while May and his friend fix everything on camera to get as many likes as possible. Everything seems to go as if according to the script of some ordinary movie. But remember the unclosed hatch. It is the key turn of this story arc. After all, the very intelligent services that were transporting Melon in the flask, they messed up somewhere and it all went wrong. And in fact, the flask, which supports the vital activity of this very Melon, it is somewhere De Hermitezi Ruvalu Valu lost concentration and decided to check what happened to the flask, because the beginning. In this turmoil, they did not notice that the road was an open manhole. They wheeled on it, and in fact, it caused the accident. And it was the same Bolo who accidentally mistook the map for where he needed to go upstairs and forgot to close the hatch that caused the accident. And of course the flask falls down and falls inside this hatch. And we see that Melon does not die inside this flask after all, but on the contrary, comes to life. And this is probably where the next story arc starts. In a nutshell, at this point, here's what we have. Melon is a lab experiment. There is a company called Van Korn that is constantly doing experiments on them. But at one point, this company needed to move Melon from one station to another. They drove across town. But by a strange coincidence, this flask leaves the car and falls right through a manhole. And this is where Melon most likely survives and hits update 25. And this is about this period has drawn us into this story arc. And in fact, at this point, we see several characters in this story arc. Company, Van Corny, Melon May, and Bola are bloggers, are bloggers or journalists, and the scene we are at this point. Laboratory, Sewer Mel's Bank, as well as the city itself. In fact, it is most likely a reference to the infinite city in general. To this story arc. I put all ten points cartoon turned out to be quite interesting. Several plot twists and in fact hints at a future sequel. I'm really looking forward to the next story arc. I let's just say I really enjoyed it. Write in the comments. Did you realize all some of the passphrases and maybe I missed something and some passphrase I didn't notice? I look forward to the comments. This is the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck to everyone. Goodbye to everyone. And remember, buddy, as always, see you the other day. Are you trying to get us all killed? <laughs>